Quick cooking meals are all the rage. I don't know about you, but I ain't got a bunch of time to be in the kitchen all day long. Today, my crispy cauliflower pad thai will have you in and out of the kitchen faster than takeout. All right, so to get started, here's what we're gonna do. I've got some cauliflower florets that are sort of already uh, chopped down the size, ready to go. Uh, we're gonna season this very simply with a little bit of salt and pepper. The reason it's gonna be simple is because the magic, the flavor is not in the cauliflower per se, but it's in the sauce that we're gonna put on the cauliflower. So a little bit of salt and pepper, just because we wanna start with some layers of flavor from the beginning. I've got a little bit of non-dairy uh, half and half that's gonna go in. The reason I'm doing the non-dairy half and half is because we need to have some liquid so that the flour can stick. Speaking of flour, let me grab that. So I'm just gonna toss in some just some all-purpose flour right into our cauliflower situation. The idea is to really get in here and uh, get the cauliflower all nice and coated with the salt, the pepper, that uh, half and half that's made from pea milk, and then we're gonna get it frying. And once the cauliflower is nice and crispy, we're gonna take it out of the oil and then right onto a paper towel to drain. All right, just like that. Let's get rid of this and let's start making the base of our sauce. So I've got another skillet and in that skillet, I'm just gonna drop in a little bit of oil. Once the oil comes to temperature, I'm gonna throw in the vegetables. So I've got some sliced orange pepper. I've also got some garlic that I went ahead and sliced as well. All right, I'm gonna hit that with just a little pinch of salt and then a little bit of pepper as well. And we'll get that sauteing until the vegetables start to soften. So meanwhile, let's work on the actual sauce that the pad thai is going to be made from. It is so simple and so easy. So we're gonna start with a little bit of ponzu. Now, if you can't find ponzu, you can certainly find soy sauce. Ponzu is just soy sauce with a little bit of uh, citrus in it, so it turns the flavor way up. I've got the scantest, tiniest amount of uh, sesame oil that's gonna go in. Just like, a, just a drop is enough, right? A little too much of this and you go overboard. I've also got a little bit of chili oil that's gonna go in here as well. Now, a pad thai can be on the bit spicy side, so you decide how spicy you like it. I'm gonna throw in a few red pepper flakes. A good thing about pad thai is pad thai is normally balanced with the salt, the heat, and the sweet, so I'm gonna do that by adding in some brown sugar. You can add in brown sugar, you can add in palm sugar, coconut sugar, whatever you like is gonna go in here. And then that's it, we're just gonna give this a stir before we add the lime juice. So I have a fresh squeezed lime juice, so you wanna roll the lime out, come in here, give it a nice cut down the middle. Let me grab a fork. And what I like to do is fork the lime so I get all the juice out of the lime right into, there we go, right into the bowl, just like that. So I'm gonna do both. Ooh, this is a lot of lime juice. This is good, I like it nice and limey, so it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna put both in here. Oh yeah, this looks good. All right, and we'll just give this a good stir to combine that soy sauce or the ponzu, the lime juice, the brown sugar, all of it goes right here. This is it, this is our pad thai sauce. That's gonna be great. Now look at what we have. Our vegetables are starting to soften, which is exactly what we want. I also have some carrots. I threw through the spiralizer just because it's gonna be cute in here. So I'm gonna toss in the carrots in here and I'm just gonna toss everything around and get it all combined with some of that oil. All right, so the garlic is cooking through, the carrots are starting to soften, our peppers, I still wanna have them a little crunchy, so a little crunch too, I don't wanna go overboard. So I'm gonna throw in this delicious Pad Thai sauce. Mmm, all of it, including all the brown sugar. I'm gonna give it a stir, and then, oh, it as soon as it hits the pan, it smells so good. Okay, look, so the sauce is looking lovely. 
It smells really good. All of the vegetables are starting to soften, which is exactly what I want. I've got some Pad Thai noodles that I'm just gonna add right into here. And I'm just gonna stir to get all of the noodles cooked in with the sauce and the sauce combined with everything. All right, so the last thing we want to do is just start adding some of our delicious toppings on. So I've got some scallion that I'm just gonna add on, just like that. I've also got some lovely salted cashews that are gonna go on to the pad thai. Let's not forget that crispy cauliflower is gonna go right back in and mix around and be lovely in this. I've just got some cilantro here that I'm just going to ever so slightly take the leaves and place the leaves right around on top to make it look nice and pretty. I think the lime, the cilantro is all going to be fantastic in our pad thai. Oh yeah, this smells good. It looks amazing. All right, let me go in for a taste. I'm not even gonna fix myself a plate. It's just me. This already, it smells, deli I mean, it smells divine. You're gonna love this. Look at that. Those carrots, look at the noodles. Look how, how it's still bubbling, it's so hot. Ooh, look at that. All right, let me taste this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. That lime juice is so good in here with the brown sugar, mm. The chili oil comes through, the soy sauce, that panzu, you're going to love this recipe. You know exactly where to find it. It's on my website, it's DariusCooks.tv. Listen, there's two things I gotta tell you, as I always do. Food is my life, life, it's my food. Until next time, I just wanna wish you happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. <laughs> mm. mm.